I'm Senior Master Sergeant John Wood. I'm the Flight Chief for Air Force Reserve Recruiting at Youngstown Air Reserve Station, and we recruit for Northeast Ohio. The Air Force Reserve is a critical component of the nation's defense. Serving locally is one of the advantages of the Air Force Reserve, and Youngstown Air Reserve Station is about 45 minutes from Portage County. We fly C-130 aircraft, and we need a lot of support to make that happen. From maintenance maintainers to cooks to cops, uh, everyone serves a vital role to helping the Air Force Reserve uh, do its mission. The Air Force Reserve offers a variety of part-time jobs and career fields such as medical, aircraft maintenance, police, fire, human resources, and cybersecurity, just to name a few. These part-time opportunities come with full-time benefits including uh, low-cost medical insurance, educational benefits, and great job skills training that make a difference on a resume. What's great about the Air Force Reserve is that we pay you to learn. So you can earn a paycheck while learning valuable skills. Uh, many of the skills transfer over to civilian occupations. For those that have already served in the military, um, you don't have to attend basic training. Uh, for example, if somebody has served in the Army, they do not have to go through Air Force basic training. But if you've never served, you'll have to go through basic training and technical training to learn the skill that you're going to do for the Air Force Reserve. What's great about the Air Force Reserve is you don't have to have any skills walking in the door. It's our job to teach you those skills. So the best thing that we can ask you to come in with is a positive attitude and the willingness to learn. Uh, we're looking for either non-prior service or prior service folks uh, between the ages of 17 and 38 and decent, good health, and they must be a U.S. citizen. In order to join, all applicants must take the ASVAB test. Uh, that is a written vocational aptitude test, and you must pass a physical as well as a drug test. Uh, the physical, uh, I compare it to either a sports or a, a sports physical you might have taken in high school or college. For the military, uh, the pay scales is, the pay is based on your rank. So the military pay scales are available online and easily accessible. A, a new enlistee into the Air Force Reserve uh, would join at the rank of E1 to E3. A prior service person, maybe somebody that had served in the Army for um, four to five years, maybe left as an E5, should be able to return to service with the Air Force Reserve as an E5. It depends on your career field and your experience. So a new airman may find himself um, majority of the time working and learning his specific skill that he's learning to do for the Air Force Reserve. And somebody that's a more experienced airman uh, may find themselves providing the training as well as mentoring these younger airmen. Uh, there's a couple ways to get more information about the Air Force Reserve. You can call our 1-800 number, our toll-free number, 1-800-257-1212. Um, that advisor will put you in contact with a local recruiter. Uh, you can also visit our website at afreserve.com to learn more information about specific career fields and qualifying to join the Air Force Reserve.